Good morning. My name is Elizabeth Smith, and I have been asked to simply share my story as a young adult here at this church. I grew up Presbyterian, in high school became Lutheran, and in college spent four years in the Russian Orthodox Church. After I graduated with my master's from the University of Pennsylvania in 2008, I moved back to Indy and started attending Second Pres for the sheer impressiveness of this building. I stayed because of the music and the sermons. I was a happy young adult, attending worship and getting in my Presbyterian hour each week. I enjoyed my traditional hymns, the organ, and the stained glass lining this beautiful sanctuary. After a couple of months, I decided that maybe two hours in this building wasn't going to kill me, and I started attending Words on the Word. I was hooked. Dr. Baker's enthusiastic dive into the scriptures early on Sunday morning was, well, nothing short of amazing. Sometime in mid to late 2010, Dr. Baker asked me to join his The Education for Adults Ministry Committee. I had my master's in education and I could be of use on his team. Funny, in a church this big, I as a young adult could be of use. I had seen myself as a glorified youth. It hadn't really occurred to me that I could serve, really serve, as an, at an adult capacity. It was when I felt wanted, felt needed, that the snowball started rolling and picking up speed. People started asking me to do things, and I started saying yes. That was the key people asked me to do things. Christmas benevolence, sorting, shopping, and delivery, second friends, great banquet, reunion group, Dr. Baker's Lenten series, chair of the Renew Visionary Committee, young women's small group, choir, choir officer, and beecher singers. In a flash, I went from my overtime two hours a week to spending almost every evening and three services on Sunday at this church. This church has become my family. I have met the most amazing people, especially in the young women's small group. We study the word of God together in a way that suits us as young adults. Women of the Old Testament, Ecclesiastes, Philippians, Mark. We volunteer at, the, at Westminster, Gleaners Food Bank. We ran, well, walked the drumstick dash and raced for the cure. We shop together, specifically at the PW Bazaar. We celebrate graduations, birthdays, ordinations, new babies, and getting into graduate programs. We have fun at ugly Christmas sweater parties in December, and pool parties and Indians games in the summer. We mourn the loss of relationships and loved ones, and through this, some of these women have become my closest friends, and one is now my roommate. I found a support system that is completely irreplaceable. Being a part of the young adult group was great, but one day I literally bumped into Dr. Lauer between services. Through small chit chat, she said she, would, she um, found out that I could sing and encouraged me to come to choir that Thursday and said that she would have a folder ready for me. Terrified of how good the choir is and how long it had been since I actually sang, I went and felt more welcomed into our sanctuary choir than I could have ever imagined. This past October, I was asked to consider auditioning for the Beecher Singers, and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. The music we sing keeps my mind focused on Christ through my entire week, and I consider it a blessing to help lead worship through song. These people are also a support system I can't imagine not having in my life. Even though some of us are separated by decades, I am blessed to consider them my friends. I'm not really a go out and search for something to do kind of person. In fact, I'm quite shy. I ran into people like Dr. Lauer, Reverend Jessica Conker, Dr. Richard Baker, and Reverend Ryan Byers, along with many lay people who asked me to get involved. With a personal invitation, it was much easier to say yes. And once I was involved, this church became my home. I was invested. I can't thank those people enough for seeing me as an adult in the church, even when I didn't. It has been a pleasure to serve and worship here at Second Press.